That is actually not even remotely close to what's happening. Because it makes so, sense in your head when you think about that, but that's, yeah. So the insulin resistance actually starts inside a cell. So what causes insulin resistance primarily? There's basically two or three things that are driving insulin resistance. And it's most fundamental is it's a, in most cases, like I'll talk about some edge cases here in a minute, but in most cases, it's an energy overload problem. So you have too much energy inside your cells for a long period of time. And so when you're in a <laughs> extended calorie surplus for a long time, your body can shuttle a, quite a bit of that excess energy into your fat tissue is where it's stored, right? And so what happens is, as you kind of have this extended ability to store things and you exceed it, the things coming into your cells, especially the fat, starts to get stored as things that are not normally stored as fat. And that starts to cause issues in the metabolism of the cell. And so those issues actually manifest as insulin resistance. So on the inside of your cell, the insulin receptor actually changes. And it's like, dude, stop sending me stuff. So then the body's like, well, I don't want this in the blood, so take it. So they just start producing, your body starts producing more insulin. And then your cells keep ratcheting up the insulin resistance because they're like, stop, 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 stop. So it actually happens gotcha. on the inside. 